Today I'm going to demonstrate the floppy control app that I wrote to capture disks and recover the sectors from the captured data. First I'll give the disk a name. All data is automatically stored in a folder, creating folders to manage all the disk data in a clear and structured way. Next I'll insert the disk in the drive and hit connect to connect to the capture hardware. Then capture to capture the entire disk. During capture, you can see the flux transition signal in the scatter plot, which is updated every second. If you see three distinct lines without much distortion, you may assume the capture is going well. It can happen that the disk is out of alignment or very badly damaged, then you can tell from the scatter plot that there is a problem. Adjustments to the drive head stepper motor can be interactively applied until the signal seems right. Once the disk is captured, we can process the data to recover the sectors. In the sector map below you can see that each track is represented as a T and three numbers. Then each position after that represents a sector. When a sector isn't recognized or doesn't exist, it's shown as a zero. When sector data is recognized, it is displayed as a full stop. The asterisks show that the sector is filled with zeros, which tells us that the sector is basically empty. If a bad sector occurs around this area, then you can maybe safely assume that the sector is empty. So it may not be interesting to recover. The histogram also shows the flux transition data, but in a different way. The three peaks you see represent the 4, 6 and 8 microsecond periods that make up the flux transition signal. You can click the histogram to set the thresholds to these three peaks automatically. After processing, you can see that all the sectors have been recovered. Now we can save the project and the disk image for use in an emulator, for example. In the emulator, I usually use directory opus to access the files on the captured disks. I'll just open the disk. I find a disk image in Explorer. And drag it over into WinUAE. And now I can access the disk using the disk spare device that I open here. And then you can see that the disk appears in the workbench. And then I go to Director Opus, select the disk drive. And open the recovery disk and that's a drive on the hard disk. Then enter a add a new folder. Then copy over the files. It's a bit confusing with two mouse cursors on the display. The one is from Windows and one is from the Amiga emulator. There, no, well, all the files have been copied. There were no disk errors and the um, archives extract perfectly fine. So the disk is double checked using the file system and the, the of course the checksums inside the archives, which is CRC32, uh, which is pretty strong. So you can be certain that the files are okay. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you like, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.